Hello, my name's Carl. I'm 2 Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango, and in this video, I just want to talk about the joys of getting back onto 2 meter radio. Those of you who've been following the channel uh, know that I on occasion run HF from the radio room here. I also run a 2 meter and 70 sems satellite um, communication from here as well but I over, over the past year I've also been trying to operate two meters as a base station by using an X50 on the side of the house but the uh, the takeoff and the the coax and even the antenna itself it wasn't really up to much so I had a very limited um, two meter um, station here or two meters and 70 cm station but recently I uh, replaced the X50 with a V2000 and, and I've also replaced the, I think it was an FT2900 I think, uh, it was an FM radio anyway, I replaced that with the ICOM IC820 which is it's great for satellite work as well but also this has become my base station for 2 meters and 70 cents. But these change. Oh, I've also uh, replaced the uh, feed line, the coax, with a much lower loss. You know, I paid a bit, of, paid a fair bit of money for a um, air cell seven at lower loss um, coax. So all of that combined, it now means that I've got a much better VHF a two meter uh, radio, radio setup. So over the past two or three weeks, I've noticed that I'm picking up much more stations and I'm actually getting out further as well um, I'm based in the central part of the UK sort of in between Manchester and Birmingham in the UK but I can actually get down into the outskirts of Birmingham I, I can get to the outskirts of Manchester and Liverpool so I'm now you know I've got a much better range than I had before and what this means is actually there's I've noticed there's much more fun to have from two meters what I found before with the the other setup with the x50 and, and all of that because there wasn't much activity I was losing I was losing interest in that band but since actually um, spending a bit of money putting some thought into it also um, thank you Lee for the v2000 it was gifted um that was gifted to me um and i you know i got a chap to climb up on the side of the house and put the antenna way above the tiles on the house so it's a much much sort of um, better takeoff now and um, by doing all of that it's actually changed my relationship with that band uh, i've always enjoyed two meters uh, working portable backpack portable but from home, it's always been like, mm, meh, you know, there's, there's there's not much going on. They are put a call out and don't get much back. But now that that's changed a lot. So um, what I have noticed, and I think other people have noticed as well, is that if you put the radio on and you're listening to it, like you're listening to Radio Luxembourg or something, then sometimes it can be really quiet. There'd be no activity or feel like there's no activity. But you do have to put the calls out so i i do make a habit now of every time the radio comes on if if it's only on for 30 minutes i'll put a call out if i've only got 10 minutes for a chat i'll say to somebody uh yeah thanks uh, for getting back to the cq call i thought i'd put a call out i've only got 10 minutes but i thought i'd put a call out anyway and uh, see who's around before i need to dash out and people know that you know you you you're there for a quick chat, but activity is activity on there as well. Uh, what what I've also noticed is now I can pick up and uh, transmit APRS better from here because I, I got nothing on the original setup. I couldn't receive anything and I couldn't hit a digi repeater anywhere. Now I can, so D uh, APRS is improved as well. But what, what this has also allowed me to do is actually, uh, as part of the Pottery's Amateur Radio Club, which is the amateur radio club that me and G1WHP have set up, 
We now run a Sunday net at nine o'clock, a two meter net, a simplex net. And last Sunday I was the net controller. Never done that before. That was scary. But I, I was the net controller. And we actually got people joining the net and having a conversation. I think it was one I thought you know it was wonderful to actually see or have people um actually join into a group on a Sunday. So we we are going to be live streaming on the Potteries Amateur Radio Group Facebook page. We'll be live streaming the Sunday nets on there. I I live streamed last Sunday's net with very minimal setup here for live streaming at the time. So the, um, the live stream itself is a bit rough. It's rough as anything. But for this Sunday, I've got new equipment here, new microphones. I've got a mixing desk, uh, so for the next live stream, that also improves. So hopefully, this means that um, we'll on a Sunday we'll have a regular slot where between me and Paul we will run this uh, two meter simplex net, but also live stream that as well, so people can just sort of join in and say hello and join the congregation as we all uh, as we all offer ourselves to the radio gods so um that's it really that's all i wanted to say uh, was um i found that by putting some effort into getting two meter set up improved has actually really opened up that hobby that part of the hobby for me again and that relationship that you have with that band as it has improved a great deal for me the next step is where I've got the antenna up, I'm going to put a big wheel, a, um, omnidirectional horizontal antenna on there. So that's my next move, so I can actually switch from vertical to horizontal. So, yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for watching this video. I look forward to the next one. And uh, Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've not done already. Uh, hit the bell icon for notifications of future videos. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about the channel. So uh, thank you for now and uh, look forward to the next one. So bye bye. I wonder if anybody else is out there. This is Golf Zero D Delta, you uniform Q Queen. G Zero D U Q, Canic Chase, Staffordshire listening. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Echo Zulu Tango, good morning. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming back. Yep, yeah, good morning, Rod. Uh, the name here is Carl. Uh, in Stoke on Trent, Trent on Stoke on Trent, um, putting out 25 watts into a uh, a, v a V2000. You're, you're a very good uh, 5.9, very good audio. On you, Rob. Thank you very much for that, uh, Carl. Name's Rob, as I say, and uh, QTH is just near the microwave link tower on the chase. You're 20 over, you can tell you're 20 over with me. Lovely, lovely uh, signal. Very nice audio, and I know just where you are because uh, I occasionally get roped in to go to on a shopping safari to the Trentham uh, by the garden centre. You know, all the little cabins go in. Oh yeah, Roger. Yeah, it's not not a bad little uh, shopping place that is. Get some food and a bit of shopping. The wife loves it, and uh, occasionally she gets around to dragging me out um, with the promise of uh, some uh, food at the end of it. Um, I'm just going to put a um, I'm putting a video together talking about getting back on a two meter band. Um, it's something that I've done recently over the past few months. I've put up a new antenna, got a, a newish or a an improved radio for two meters, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun getting back onto the two meter band from the home location. So if you don't mind, I'll um, I'll edit some of this video up and just put a slice of this. Uh, into the you know, onto the YouTube videos, if that's okay with you, Rob. Carl, that's absolutely fine. Anything to promote two meters. 